Hey everybody, it's Anthony here on Energy Power Tools, and I wanted to do this quick tutorial on getting a Google Meet set up. Um, the first step that you want to do is you want to actually start in Google Calendar. You're going to start in Google Calendar to schedule the event. Um, there's actually a couple of ways that you can set up a Google Meet. Um, this is the most common way I find because you want to set up a time that you want to have people join the Meet specifically. I'll show you another way to come to create a Google Meet on the fly if you wanted to do one to set up like just instantly. Um, but the first thing that you're going to do, like I said, is you're going to go into Google Calendar and you're going to select the time that you want to schedule the meeting. So say I want to schedule the meeting for 11 o'clock. I'm going to click and drag my um, appointment time to be from 11 to 11.50. And I'm going to title it Google Meet Block A. So say I wanted to have a Google meeting with my Block A class. I'm going to title that like that there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to this box here that says Add Rooms, Location, or Conferencing. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on Add Conferencing. And what that's going to do is it's automatically going to create a Google uh, Hangouts Meet for you. And what that has done is that creates a link to a meeting. It's a, it's a private room. Um, and it's got a specific code here, IWWYKIKBMQ. Uh, and that's the code that you're going to want to share with the participants of the meeting. So if you do this is a, um, a, a Google Meet that you're going to have with your class, you're going to share this link with your class. All right. Um, and both these links are the same. The meeting ID and the Google, uh, the Hangouts Meet are the same. The other option that you have in addition to having a meeting. So in a Google Meet, you're going to have back and forth between the participants and the moderator. So the moderator is going to be able to talk. I'm the moderator. The participants are going to be able to hear what I'm saying, see what I'm presenting on my screen um, if I choose that, and I'll be able to ask me questions. They can turn their microphone on and off. They can speak. Um, and they can type in the chat box. The other option you have is to set up a live stream. This is what you want to do if you want to have it be just one way. So just me presenting information or me talking um, to the participants. They're not really participants anymore. They're just viewers. They're just listening to what I'm saying and seeing what I'm displaying on the screen um, as I go through the Google meeting. So that's for a live stream. And if you wanted to add live stream, that's totally fine. You can click on that. And um, you have a different link here for that. So we've got streams and we've got the meetings. So the meeting is going to be if you want to have participants in it, then there's that conversation that going back and forth. Live stream is just if you just want to present, you're just saying it like that. All right. So I'm going to click Save. And that's going to save this event here. So again, this event's happening at 11 o'clock. So when 11 o'clock comes and you want to start the meeting, um, you're going to do one of two things. So if you're still in calendar, you can click on this, uh, so click on that event, and then you can click on join Hangouts Meet. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring up a new tab. You're going to see your picture here once it all gets ready. Camera's starting. And you're going to see the ready to join uh, information here uh, on the right hand side. The other option you have is um, in your Waffle, you say you're signed into Google here, in your Waffle for all your Google apps, you have a Meet button here. You can click on the Meet button, and that's going to bring you to the Meet dashboard. And what you're going to see here is that I have a couple of events already scheduled. I had a Google Meet tutorial at 10, and then I have this Google Meet that I just set up in my calendar for 11. So I, I could click on that to join that. All right. This place is also where you can go if you want to create a meeting on the fly. So say you're um, emailing back and forth with the student and they have some questions and you want to do like an individual meet with them to kind of guide them through steps to questions on like a math problem or they don't understand something and you want to do like a quick one on one session with them. This is this is where you're going to go to do that. So you can click to join or start a meeting here. And you can leave uh, you can name this as nickname. So say um, you have a meeting with Jack, you can have a Jack and Mr. A meeting. Oh, sorry, I can't do that. Jack. So just put Jack. All right, so I'm going to continue. And that's going to start up a new meeting. And then I'm going to invite invite Jack to the meeting. And then we can kind of go back and forth within the meeting. And he can get his questions answered. Does that make sense? And it says Jack there. Join now. He would join, I would join, and then we'd have a one-on-one -on -one together like that. All right, so just to kind of go back to Google Meet here to go back to where that meeting is. Um, so this is, again, this is the meeting where I scheduled at 11 o'clock. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on um, 
on join now. So you want to join as the moderator a couple of minutes before everybody else, just so that you're in there and everybody's set up. And then as other people join or ask to join, you can approve them uh, and make sure that you're ready to go for the start of the meeting. And then once you're in the meeting, uh, I'm going to start that now. You're going to see um, what the different controls are and how the participants can kind of interact within the meeting. All right, everybody. So this is a tutorial um, on Google Meet. And we are here and we have all joined the same session. I have my assistants, uh, my daughters, Alexis, Madeline and Mackenzie here helping me out. So they're all here on this Google Meet call. And what I want to do is just kind of go over the things that you see when you are hosting the call. So this is from my perspective. And basically what we see here is we've got a tile, uh, a grid of the participants in the call. So I've got my kids here. And then when I kind of hover over the bottom here, this white toolbar pops up. Over on the left, it says Google Meet Tutorial. That's the name of this event. I can click on the little triangle there and it's going to bring the information that you might need to share with uh, people that you want to participate. So it gives you the joining info link here. And then if they want to just dial in instead of having their video showing, um, they can dial into this number and enter in this pin. And then you can also copy the joining information. So if you want to share that with some people through Google Classroom or through Remind or Class Dojo or however it is that you have set up that you want to share with the kids to have them join your meeting, you can do that that way. Then as we're going along the bottom here, we've got the microphone toggle here so you can turn it on and off. This is for my microphone, whether I can be heard or not. So I can turn that off or on. I can leave the call. You're not going to want to press that until the very end. So you're just going to leave that one alone. And then you've also got the turn on or off the camera toggle there. So you can turn that on and off if you want to turn the camera off for a few minutes uh, for whatever reason. A uh, nice feature of Google Meet is the ability to turn on captions. So if you want to turn on captions so that the participants can um, see the words that are coming out of your mouth, um, then you can set that up to do that. Uh, and that will do the um, it'll do closed captioning for all the participants when they talk. So Alexis, why don't you say hi? Hi. Say some more stuff. Hi, my name is Alexis and my favorite color is what? Hi, my name is Alexis and my favorite color is blue. Okay, very good. Madeline, why don't you say something and say what you love most about being on Coronacation? Um, my favorite color is purple and... You don't know what else to say? That's fine. Okay, but you see your fa my favorite color is purple came right up there. Mackenzie, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is green. And what I most love doing is going on devices. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. All right, there you go. And so you see that when Mackenzie talked, because she signed into my account, it shows Anthony Amitrano. But for everybody else, yeah. it shows their name. So you know which kid is speaking and which kid is saying what. So that's kind of a nice feature there. That's turning on captions. So I'm going to turn captions off now. And then the next one that we have, the next button over on the bottom is present now. So present now is going to have me show my screen. So what that's going to allow me to do is if I have something on my screen that I want to share with the rest of the people on the call, I can do that. So I'm going to click present now. And I'm going to choose my entire screen. I could choose just a window, but that to me gets confusing sometimes. So it's better just to do your entire screen. So I'm going to click my entire screen and it's going to share my screen. Any participant in Google Meet can share their own screen. So if you want to have the kids sharing something like a presentation that they made or a picture or something that they're going to talk about, um, you can do that however you, you, you want to do that. Um, so I've got my presentation on here. So now I'm presenting my screen. And so what I can do is I can go into Google Docs and I can choose like if I'm going to give an explanation on an assignment or something, I can go into Google Docs and um, present something. I'm trying to find something really quick that I can find. Let's see here. 
Now, here's a good opportunity. You hear the little chit chat happening in the background. If I don't want to have the chit chat happening in the background, I can hover over my participants and I can turn their microphone off. So if Alexis is doing too much talking, I can hit mute. So I'm gonna mute Alexis and say that this one is talking too much. Mackenzie, I'm gonna mute her. She's talking, so now I can't hear her anymore. Okay. And then same thing here for Madeline. I'm going to mute her also. Okay. Um, you can also go to the window here and you can easily turn their microphones on and off from here as well. Okay. So, but anyway, I'm back into Google Docs. I'm sharing, I'm presenting to everyone. So say um, book suggestions. Oh, and so a child unmuted myself. Yes, that's great. Can you mute yourself back again, please? Yeah. Thank you very much. They're very cooperative people. Um, so anyway, so I can share a document here. You get the idea. I can open up the document and share it. If the document is shared with all the participants, so like sh say you're having a, a class meeting through Google Meet, um, and you're sharing a document that you created and it's shared with all the, the kids, you can all collaborate on the same document at the same time. And you can see, um, you can display what's happening in real time if you wanted to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna stop presenting my screen. Um, and that's how, that's that, like I said, that was that present button down at the bottom. So present now. And then the other thing here is the three dots, the more options. I'm going to click on the more options and that's going to give you some more options to adjust. Um, you can record the meeting. So I could click record and be recording this whole thing so that if a kid's not able to participate or you just want to save it for future reference, you can click on record meeting. If I want to change the layout of the screen of how the participants are laid out, I can change layout. Um, I can have it be like a sidebar. So then the person talking is going to take up or the person making the most noise is going to be centered uh, front and center. I can also, um, I see we have a question. Mackenzie has her hand up in the air and so does Malin. Mackenzie, do you have a question? Yes. What is your question? Um, how do you make yourself big when you're really tiny and you can't really see yourself? So, um, you should be able to go there should be a layout button maybe in the three dots in the lower right hand corner see the three dots you can change layout see if you if that changes what how you look all right malin did you have a question um i didn't see um, i didn't see mackenzie right back with the chat and i don't think she knows how all right we're going to talk about chats in just a minute that's a great point alexis do you have a question Oh, yes, you may go to the bathroom. That's fine. I'll see you in a few minutes. Please don't take the computer um, in the bathroom this, with you. Like, a, how do I do, like, do I do a spotlight, a sidebar, or... You just pick one and see which one you like the best. You can change them, okay? So in this more options menu here, you've got change layout, full screen. So if you want to have the whole thing, take up the screen, turn on captions. Uh, and more settings. Settings is what if you, you want to adjust um, your microphone or your video settings. So if you're not hearing, uh, if the participants aren't hearing what um, you're saying, you might need to adjust the microphone. It should set to the correct default one, but you never know, you might need to change that. And same thing for video, if it's not set to the right camera, if you have multiple cameras, you can change that um, there too. Hang on one second, Mackenzie. All right, and then there's more. Hang on one second, Madeline. And then uh, use a phone for audio. If your microphone is just not working, you can't get it to work, you can do use a phone for audio. And then you can certainly report a problem or find some help documents there. All right, that's under more options. And then the last thing that I want to show you is the chat bar. So the kids have been making use of the chat bar here. So on the right hand side, we have the chat area. And so this is where students and participants can ask questions. So you can not only can you ask questions, but you can post links too. So if you are explaining something and you as the teacher or you as the moderator want to send out a link to everybody, you can send that through chat. Um, and you can also take questions in there too. So um, they can type in a question and then you can respond to it verbally or if it's a, a question that you wanna type out the answer to, you can do that too. Good for feedback, good for um, you know knowing that the kids are understanding what you're talking about and for any kind of follow-up that you not need to give as well. All right, very good. Um, so that are those are all the basic features of Google Meet when you're in the meeting. 
Um, so before everybody, before we want to end the meeting, before I as the moderator click this button here, leave call, we want to make sure we have everybody else leave the call also. All right, so Alexis, we're just wrapping up. So what I need you guys to do is I need you guys to press the leave call button down on the bottom of the screen, the red button in the middle, leave call. Say bye bye first. Bye. All right, and then click leave call. Bye. Bye. All right, and now it's just me. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the call and it's important to do that because um, if you don't do that, you are going to have kids staying in the room forever unsupervised, which is not generally a good idea. All right, um, I hope they found that helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Talk to you soon. Thanks.